Okay, in this tutorial inside of Capture One Twenty Two, we're going to be looking at how to very basically read a histogram and also very basically look at our curves panel down here. And we'll also touch on uh, white balancing as well. So I'm not going to be specifically looking at how to edit this image. This image is just here as an example. Uh, in another tutorial, I will um, I will show you how I how I go about editing this image um, to achieve um, this finalized result on the left hand side. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're literally just going to be looking at the uh, the basics of the histogram and the basics of probably the most important adjustment um, tool inside of any photo editing software and that's the curves adjustment. So when we're reading a histogram um, we are reading left to right so uh, the histogram that we have in Capture 122 is broken up into four quadrants the very far left is the shadows then you have uh, the darker midtones the lighter midtones and the highlights on the very right hand side. So the little peaks and troughs that are all along the histogram, they're basically a graphic representation of uh, all the color channels and um, their luminosity values across the image. Because this image has been shot against a white backdrop in a studio, we've got uh, good representation in the, uh, in the highlights. And um, because we're using a, a, a tan model with dark hair and um, darker activewear, there's good representation in the uh, shadow tones as well. Inside of Capture One, you can pinpoint different areas on the histogram by uh, dragging your cursor across the image. And uh, let me go somewhere that makes it a little bit easier to see. If I drag my cursor across her darker activewear, you'll see a little orange line appear on the histogram up to the left hand side. And that is basically telling me where on the histogram um, uh, my, my, my cursor is and, and, and where those color values are, what the output color values are for that particular um, place of the image. So we've got the dark of her um, active wear down here, but if I drag my cursor across to um, the backdrop again, you'll see that the orange line will lift up to some of those upper values, it's a little bit hard to see. Um, if I go across to her shadow down here, it'll drop again because it's a darker portion of the image and that is registering somewhere around the mid-tone area. Um, and then if I'm looking up here again, um, there's another spike that is a little bit higher than the, the backdrop area, um, which means that it's brighter. And I'm going to hazard a guess and say that that is probably the box that she's the front face of the box she's sitting on. So let's drag the cursor across and have a look. Yep, so the orange line is now aligning with that particular peak in the image. Another handy tool in Capture 122 is the color readout, the numerical color readout um, above the image if you have that option turned on. And it gives you a color readout for each one of the color channels. So you've got uh, a red reading, a green reading, and a blue reading, as long uh, uh, um, along with a luminosity reading on the far right. Uh, so your RGB, and um, basically when all of the numbers register exactly the same value, that means you've got a perfect grey. If they are registering uh, zero across the board, that means it's perfect black. And if they're registering 255, 255 across the board, all evenly, that is a perfect white. Um, if we come back over to our histogram, you can see um, that there is a misalignment of the color channels, and you can see that in the numerical values as well. As I'm dragging my cursor across the backdrop, we're getting roughly the same um, green reading and blue reading, but the red reading is low, and you can see that that is uh, that's evident in if we look at the histogram as well. Quickest way to bring all of those values into line and get a perfect white or a perfect gray 
is to grab our white balance dropper and pick a spot on the image that you know to be white or that you think should be white or that you want to be white and make a selection. And you can see that all of those values, that particular peak um, that is representing our backdrop has now aligned, more or less, um, aligned all of the color channels. I'm just gonna do that again so you can see that coming together. Click and select a point. And now we have more or less um, good alignment on our backdrop, which means that the great proportion of it will be a um, almost perfect digital gray. And you can see that if you look up to above, if you look above the image and you look at those numerical readouts again, we've got at this particular point that I've stopped on, uh, one uh, reading of 190 across the red, green, and blue channels. Um, our curves tool down below is how is the easiest way to start making adjustments uh, to the, uh, the colors and the luminosity of your image. Now I'm just gonna go and reset this because I was fiddling around with it before. And above the curves tool, you have got different options for, uh, for adjusting specific um, channels in your color channels in your image. RGB means that you're gonna be adjusting uh, the red, green, and blue channel channels together. Luminosity um, is something that's incredibly handy, um, and I think it's pretty unique to capture one as far as photo editing software goes, uh, which basically lets you do make the same sort of adjustments that you can make in RGB, but without affecting the, um, the actual saturation of the image. Then you have the red channel, which will let you make adjustments specifically to the, uh, the actual the, the red channel. Same for green channel and same for blue channel. And that's when you start getting into more specific um, adjustments for an image. Just beginning in the RGB, um, you can see that the curves tool down here uh, also has, has carried that histogram chart from up here um, down into down into its panel as well. Um, and it's basically the same thing, it's just a little bit stretched out. And across all of the different options, tool tabs inside of the curves adjustment, you have a diagonal line that you can um, start adjusting to make color and um, exposure adjustments to your image. By default, there's a anchor in the shadow area on the bottom left-hand side of the of the graph and um, a anchor in the top right-hand area of the graph which lets you make adjustments to the uh, the highlight highlights of the image. You can go into each one of these tool tabs and add extra points to that particular line and then um, it will allow you to start making adjustments to the image or specific areas of the image. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna go into um, how I've edited this particular image. I'll do that in another tutorial. Um, but that essentially takes you through um, a couple of like key basics inside of Capture 122 and most editing, photo editing software, how to read the histogram and how to understand the curves tool and start making adjustments, basic adjustments um, inside, of, inside of there. Thanks for watching.